In this video, we'll be going over sketching the, the graph, or a possible graph, of a polynomial based on some criteria. So let's look at part A. In part A, it says we need a degree of 2, one turning point, which is a minimum, and a constant term of negative 4. So first of all, it says this has a degree of 2, meaning that it's going to be a parabola. So it's going to look like that, or like that. The second part of this says the turning point, which is a minimum. So what that would mean is that we're going to focus on one that opens up, because that's the type of parabola that has a minimum value. So what I'd like to do now is look at the constant term of negative 4. So that's really the only point I'm given on this graph. So I can indicate that here and say that my negative 4 is here. And then I would need to determine if I want the vertex on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. Either would be fine. I'm going to put mine here. And I'm going to put it below the y-intercept because I want to have this general parab parabolic shape here when I sketch it. And I would just then proceed to do my best to get a parabolic shape which passes through that point of negative 4. And this would satisfy the criteria I'm given. The next one says we have two turning points in Q3 and Q1, a negative leading coefficient and a constant term of 3. So it's really important that we look at the two turning points here. If there's two turning points, that means it's going to be cubic. So what I'd like to do first is put my turning points in. And I'll just represent them with a dot. So it says I have one turning point in quadrant 3. So there's quadrant 3. I'm just going to put a dot here. And it says I have another one in quadrant 1. So I'll put another dot in quadrant 1. It says I have a negative leading coefficient. So if it's a negative cubic, that means it's going to look something like this. And a constant term of 3. So I'd like to put in that constant term of 3 here as well. So I'm going to put in my 3 right here. So when I sketch my function now, I need to start up in this corner because it's a negative leading coefficient. I need to make sure I end up down here. So when I sketch, Draw my function down. I'm going to hit that first dot and turn. I'm going to move up through my three. Make sure I turn at my second dot. And down again. So there's my two turning points in quadrant three and quadrant one. My negative leading coefficient because this is decreasing. And I've indicated that it passes through three. So a y-intercept, which gives me the constant term of three.